Hey guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com. Welcome to another tutorial. Today we are starting a new service, MDB e-commerce. So today we're going to learn how to build this listing page for our products in our e-commerce page. Let me just remind you that this is the next series in a row. So I'm going to go briefly through some of the components here, but we already covered them in the previous tutorials. So if you haven't seen them yet, please check our channel and see uh, previous ones because we covered in details, for example, how to use nav bars, how to use footers. So we are not going to go much into details. Uh, during this tutorial, we're going to focus on other components. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, in order to start, we have to download the newest version of MD Bootstrap. So navigate to mdbootstrap.com and go to MDB5, which is the newest one as for today. So I'm clicking here, this icon uh, on the right side, get started and download MDB5. You can also use it. You, know, you can also use CLI to initialize the project. If you don't know what CLI is, I strongly encourage you to uh, check this CLI uh, page. Uh, this allows you to quickly initialize new project as well as deploy this to our servers absolutely for free. So once you initialize your project, I already did it. Uh, let's change the name to MDB5, 5 e-commerce part one. And let's open this in uh, editor. Okay, and let's run this index HTML using live server, which is going to open our starting template. Now we're going to go into navigation and let's move to our docs because we're going to use some of the components. So I'm going to start with navigation and headers and I'm going to go to section with a background image. So I'm going to copy this one and paste it into our project. So I'm going to replace this part, the starter here, paste it and let's see how it looks now. Okay, so we have that one. Now we're going to add some icons here to the right. So let's go to navigation navbar. We are going to subsection icons. As I said, we talked already about it in the previous tutorial. So now I'm going to just quickly go through uh, this part. And if you want to learn more about it, please check our previous tutorial. So um, I'm going to paste it over here next to our links. So now they're aligned to the right. And um, what we also want to do, we're going to add uh, some icon over here with um, indicating that we have already something in the basket. So I'm going to go to badges and I'm going to copy this part here and replace our existing icon shopping cart with this new two spans, which going to give us this nice alerting batch over here, which indicates that we have already something in a basket. Okay, now let's add some logo. So we are going to brand. There are different brand options. We're going to go for the one with logos. So I'm going to copy this um, brand part. And I'm going to paste it over here. Now we have logo, let's make it smaller. So change height to something like 24. And now it looks good. Now what we also want to do, we want to change a height for this element, this heading. So currently it is uh, 400 pixels. We want to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to change it to 500 pixels. And yeah, now it's better. And I'm going to add some shadow. So I'm going to use shadow classes. We covered that in the previous tutorials. So now just let's have a look here. And now it's adding this nice shadow over here. Let me show you again. So before 
and after. So I hope now you can see this shadow effect. And now let me adjust text and the images over here. So I'm gonna change the background image and I'm gonna change this call to action to something more um, typical for an e-commerce. So let me replace image. And now CD promotional. Yeah, now it looks like a nice e-commerce intro. Okay, now let's move to the main part. So I'm gonna add main over here and I'm already gonna add some classes, margin top five. So we will have some margin uh, in the bottom. Now I'm gonna use Bootstrap Grid. So I'm gonna create container. And then again, we already covered Bootstrap Grid in the previous tutorial. So if you don't know how to use Bootstrap Grids, please check the previous tutorials. We also have dedicated one only about Bootstrap Grid. Uh, so if you don't know how to use it, please check it before because that's gonna make your life much, much easier. Uh, not only for this tutorial, but also for a future. Uh, okay, now let's um, use a basic example. And I'm gonna copy this number and now looks gonna, what's, what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna add this uh, navbar into our container. So now we have two navbars, one for the page itself over here and now here uh, inside our content. So this is something, uh, this is the new way of using navbar which you haven't seen uh, probably before, but as you can see, we can always use it for some navigation, for some breadcrumbs and so on and so on. Let me um, now do some small adjustments over here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get rid of this brand. We don't want to have logo here and I'm gonna change this to something which looks like categories. So we're gonna have categories like all t-shirts, sports, skirts and so on, which allows user to um, filter uh, products which are here. So let's do it quickly now. So let's get rid of brand. Now let's add some strong over here. So we have categories. And now let me change this to all. rid of drop down we don't gonna use drop down here and we don't want to use disabled links as well so I'm just I will multiply this three times I'm gonna do categories like T shirts sport and skirts yeah now we have these options here and that's it for a nav bar. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a new section over here where we're gonna be listing our product. So let's add this section over here. Yeah, let's call it products section. Let's add this comment. Now we're going to add some classes here. So I'm going to add text center and MB4 to our section. And now again, we're going to use grid. So what I want to do, I want to add this uh, three columns grid here. And I'm going to have two rows over there. So let's do it now. So first we have row and then we have call a large four call md12 and some margin bottom here multiplied by three times and uh, now we have columns but they are empty and uh, so let's move to cards documentation and we're gonna use a basic example with ripple effect so this nice wave effect over here so i'm gonna copy this one 
Now let me do, let me paste it over here. So we have three cards. Now I'm gonna add some price tag over here. So after a card title, I'm gonna add H6 and some price. And let me copy paste this one three times. Okay, so now we have three products. As you can see, we are missing some margin here, so we're gonna fix it now. I'm gonna add margin bottom four here. Yeah, now it looks better. And we want to have two rows like this one. Obviously now these are all static data, but in the next tutorials, we're gonna learn how to make them more dynamic. So now we have uh, all cards here. So let me quickly adjust the content. Uh, so I'm gonna replace the images uh, over here. So they look more like an e-commerce page. So let me quickly do that. Uh, I already prepared this uh, before. So um, let me quickly replace it. And now we have this new images. So now it's high time to add pagination to our project. So let's move to pagination docs, pagination docs, and let's use uh, this circle example. As you can see, as always, there are different uh, paginations available for use. So I encourage you to check other options and I'm gonna use this one. Let me copy that one and let me paste it over here. So still within a container and now we're gonna have pagination and let's center it using Flexbox classes. So I'm gonna add the flex and justify content center, which will center our pagination and finally let's add footer and I'm gonna use just a basic example here I'm gonna copy this one and paste it after our main section which is gonna be our last component in that page okay so that's it for today I hope you see how easy it is to create a, a page with a use of MDB5. So we've built this page within like uh, 10 minutes. Um, and yeah, obviously there are still a lot of to do, but I think it's a really, really great starting point uh, for our next tutorials on how to make this page uh, more dynamic. So if you like this uh, tutorial, Please don't forget to leave a like. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Um, once you build your project, uh, I also encourage you to join our Facebook group and show uh, your project. If you have any issues or questions regarding programming, also please do not hesitate to ask these questions over there. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.